Welcome back to the channel and today I am judging the submissions of the latest trail makers build contest which was called not rope which was a kind of a jab at the power couplers being interpreted almost exclusively as a rope like thing. Uh, so a bunch of people have submitted all kinds of creations using power couplers in creative ways and I was invited to judge them live on the Trailmakers Twitch channel on a live stream and uh, let's go and hop over there and see how that went and what was what were the top picks in my opinion for the Not Rope Challenge. And just starting out with Spooky's Neon Scrap Spider. Okay, oh, it's even made in your uh, made in your colors. <laughs> Yeah, let me spawn in my own version too and I can play around with it. Oh, it has a little laser that pops up. Oh when, yeah, there we go. I feel like right, it, what else we when got? you when I put it out in build mode, there's like a whip sticking oh. out of it. Yeah, but um, I, can't... I just pressed Q and it shot out a, a web. Was it Q? Uh, I think so. Oh yeah, yeah look there at we that. go. Yeah. <laughs> Need to hold it okay. down. <laughs> it's not yeah, rope, okay. it's uh, it's actually a spider web. <laughs> Floating Island by Carapincho? I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, this is some of the stuff I was expecting. You know, the interesting thing is we had the floating block glitch before and it was actually going to be fixed, but there were some people who really enjoyed building with the floating block glitch. And then uh, one of the developers here said, hey, what if we just give them a block that does what the floating block glitch oh. does? And that's actually how the power coupling was made. But was floating blocks or pod racers the... the first idea i think the first idea was was a floating block thing but ah. then we were also like how how are we gonna make that an interesting block a little bit of background lore it's actually a floating yeah. block block <laughs> it's a floating block block Riker for the win has made this uh, hologram of the oh. space sector oh oh that's nice wait this is the space sector map uh i think i see the garbage carrier at the top and then I think I see Dune with the sandworm coming out. Oh, okay. I was confused by like the sun in the center. I'm like, well, did I miss something in the space sector? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's the asteroid. Mm. The, the infamous Scrapman asteroid. Yeah. <laughs> and next up is Captain Clutch. He has uh, five wins already. So this is a, a veteran. The laser trebuchet 3000 based on medieval siege weapons. Why the first <laughs> things in the wrong order. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> it's not wow, the farthest, actually. but it works no. like a trebuchet. <laughs> <laughs> you need to set up the trebuchet right next to the castle you're sieging. <laughs> so it's just hope they don't have like anything to stop you there. Oh, oh there it goes. That oh, was not too bad. This is definitely a rope, though, says Middleburger. Man. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Next up is the skeleton by I am I am DB Pooper. What a name! <laughs> Very mature. Oh, nice! It's a skeleton. Oh wait! Oh my! Oh, I fell. <laughs> <laughs> it looks yeah. like it kind of looks like it's trying to like ballroom dance. Yeah, exactly. Like a, a ballet. Like it's yeah. very like <laughs> elegant. <laughs> it's like a drunk guy in a mocap suit. Okay, it does have a walking animation, but it loses balance really easy. Oh, it jumps too. Okay, space is actually like a jump. Come on, there we go. There we go. Oh, it's happening. It's happening. Oh, and I fell. <laughs> I really like the use of pipes and power couplers as ribcage. Oh yeah. Wait, how how did that? How does that work? Okay, there's some invisible ones in the middle. Flex. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. They're just compressed into each other, so they, it causes a bend. Yeah, the rib cage is actually really clever. Let's move on to Ace 2011's blueprint. It's just the name. I don't see any other name. Um, whoa, whoa. Whoa, okay. Oh, is this like the classic, oh, oh, like, oh, carrot oh, on a yeah. stick thing? Yeah. Well, what is it, like an oil can <laughs> for a robot? Is that That's amazing, actually. The walking animation is so good. And once again, it's definitely It's so rope. smooth. Wow, this thing, the walking is kind of crazy on this. Very unique idea. I doubt anyone else has submitted something like this. Why does it, why does it turn so smoothly? I don't, like, it's so weird. Uh-oh. Uh oh Oh, no. All right, last Xbox build is GC Ellis. Oh, Lord of the Skies. Atop the clouds, you are held captive by one uh, you cannot call your own. You see him as a sacred, transcendent figure. Let's see what this is. Looks very, uh, 
Whoa. Okay. Whoa. All right. Couple Can of buttons. Can he fly? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He the can up arrow. Fly. Oh, the lightning. From the clouds. The oh, that, that is, is genius. That's really clever. Okay. Yeah, that that's some creative use of those power couplers. Dude, this is amazing. Oh, actually, he's holding he's holding you in one of his hands. Yeah, and that's he's holding cool. like a like a like a star fragment or lightning or something. Yeah, some kind of gemstone or something. The lightning is definitely probably the more unique use I've seen of them so far. Huh. Both up and the down arrow make me go up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I just noticed that as well. <laughs> His, his goals are beyond human comprehension. <laughs> yes. First team submission is the jellyfish by Jamand. This is not the build I have put the most effort into. Uh, what a way to sell yourself. Ooh. Wow. How fancy. Oh, wait, it needs to go in the water, I think. Yeah, I see the chat spamming water now. Oh, yeah. There we go. This works. Uh oh, my... My uh, tentacles are tangled. Uh, I know firsthand from your videos how the power coupling can uh, act <laughs> up a bit sometimes. You do uh, you do have a, a way of really putting our features to the <laughs> test sometimes and <laughs> breaking them in horrible fashion. <laughs> That's always the most the most fun part about it. Whenever you release a new video, I see at least like four devs just watching it in horror. I <laughs> should <laughs> <laughs> just completely break it. Uh, yeah. This is definitely very, very aesthetic creation. Um, let's see. Next one. It's the Paramotor 174 by Mr. Smith. A highly stable aircraft with reasonably dev-proof <laughs> controls. This Paramotor is great for those lazy Sunday afternoons. This build by design will climb, so it's great for going AFK. <laughs> so yeah, if you need to go to the bathroom or something, I guess this is the build to do it with. Oh, oh. Oh, wait. And maybe dev proof, but apparently it's not scrap man proof. <laughs> <laughs> if I can fly it, anyone can. I think that's the rule in trail makers. There we go. All right, I'm up in the air. Oh, the paint job is great on this. Really good. The yeah, the color coordination with the power couplers and the paint. Rocket League paint. Yeah, it's definitely. You're onto something there, Edify, I think. This does have a Rocket League aesthetic to it. Oh, I gained a lot of speed. Oh All my right. god. I'm glad It's actually now. really satisfying satisfying to glide oh that's uh, oh there we go uh, kind of hard to stay upright after landing but i managed to avoid taking damage at least <laughs> yeah that's cool and the way that they had to use the the pistons to get all the angles all right next up is uh aerobotix bay blade by edifish well the stopping spinning is kind of disturbingly quick <laughs> <laughs> yes and it just and it stays upright, too. I like the chirpo in the back there. Oh, yeah. Let's have a fight. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yep. Oh, oh whoa. Look at oh. that. That was fancy. <laughs> what? The chirpo is your bottom feet sticking out? Oh, my God. It is. My, uh, my butt is sticking out on the oh. chirpo back here. If you look in the back. Yep. <laughs> I thought it was its mouth. It looks like, like a like face. A <laughs> Yes. Oh, it's my boots too. I <laughs> yeah. thought it was. I thought he made a chirpo. Okay, so this one is uh, kind of a funny because the next one is Lucrum, and he's a tester. So he's had access to the power coupling for a long time, and therefore I uh, I made a new league to make it fair. So the testers compete in their own league called mm. the Early Bird League. But since Lucrum is the only tester who has submitted anything, he ca he has kind of won this league. Wait, whoa. Oh, what? oh wait, okay. oh, that's not what I was expecting. Uh, oh, it's a floating block glitch. Look, this is why we made the power coupling. Yeah, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, it's the flashbulb logo. Wow. There we go. So you used a floating block glitch with the new floating block block. <laughs> oh. That's a really cool, cool way to use the power couplers. It's just LEDs now. Well, I think he wins the uh, early bird league. That's definitely uh, my favorite creation of all the early birds. Let's see the next one, which is Flying Spaghetti Monster by Firestorm. This is uh, the reigning champion. This guy won the Cadet League in the Pirate Build Challenge. He built, built a very nice pirate ship. Was there a description again I forgot to read? I feel like that might have been. <laughs> this is great. I mean, it's not rope, it's pasta, so. <laughs> yeah, doesn't count. All right. There's a there's a bunch of buttons on this one though. Okay, we can lean. 
We can... Oh my goodness. We've got weapons, apparently. We got detachable... Bla I don't know what those are. Detachable noodles. Detachable noodles? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Let's see if I can hit you with a noodle drone. <laughs> oh, uh oh, uh oh, it might work. They don't have the best aim. <laughs> this is a very chaotic oh. build. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. Power couplers make great noodles. Nut rope? Question mark by... Edify. Flashbulb is so adamant about the power couplings not being rope. In the UK, there is a brand of margarine. I can't wait to see where this is going. <laughs> Basically, cold spread butter called I can't mm. believe it's not butter. I just took that and turned it into I can't believe it's not rope. Fun fact, actually, there was the meme going around on our internal uh, communications channel with the, I can't believe it's not rope. <laughs> uh, someone photoshopped that. So we actually also... Uh, had sort of the same idea. Oh, he even right. wrote it on the side there. Just oh, press, press space. space. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if you walk into it? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's an interesting one. Ha interesting thing happening with yours. Yeah, what? <laughs> Let's check out the Nexus Butt Boxing League by Nexus. Welcome to the Butt Boxing League. Do you have what it takes to be the next champions? Oh, oh, you can just jump. Out of the thing. Whoa! Oh. This is cool. Oh, oh, that's very cool. Okay, let's let's go. All right. Oh, you got me. All right. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I've been defeated by the power couplers apparently. <laughs> this block is right, so random. I swear to God. All right, let's go. That is actually really cool for ears, though. Oh my goodness. Ooh, what a sucker punch! I've lost. <laughs> I've lost everything. Oh, you can totally like shield yourself. That's pretty cool. If you hold S, it's like a blocking function. Oh, yeah. he even takes his gloves together. Yeah, he puts his gloves in and like a shield shows up too. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that, was my that was my ultimate attack. <laughs> yeah. This is Pain Train Addicts. Barland class armored cruiser. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. This has bolt mode for sure. This has to have bolt mode. Oh, I fired a torpedo. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I guess I should spawn one in and we should try to torpedo each other. All right, torpedo off. Let's see if this net does its thing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I lost quite a lot of blocks. <laughs> that is so satisfying. Oh, you can fold up the, uh, the the nets too with X. That's not gonna hit. Oh, maybe after your repair there. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> <I think. laughs> there we go. Nice. Yeah, the net definitely catches it. It probably yeah. does less damage than if the net wasn't there. All right, I'm gonna fold my nets in and now send a torpedo towards me. All right, no net protection this time. Oh, there we go. That looked like right. a hard hit. And then let's do one more with the nets out. Uh, oh, that time the torpedo net helped. What is boat mode? I accidentally called broadside boat mode. So that's broadside is, is what I mean. Broadside for stupid people. <laughs> oh, huh? This guy has drawings in his description? What? what? I see that this too. This one's by Detail Vivgardisto Ku. Wait, how did he do this? Crane deer, the best kind of deer. Shiny, just like Johannes Baldspot. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> this is similar to the, the robot one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So when I said definitely no one else has had this idea, <laughs> that I know that someone else had this exact idea. <laughs> oh, that sound. That's a cool creature. Oh, it's got a magnet on it too. Or a, a tractor beam. I'm gonna try to pick you up here. Yeah. Oh, oh no, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pull you into the depths here if I can. Oh, oh, you're oh. oh no, no, no. <laughs> this, this plan has backfired. <laughs> I'm going over. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you ripped my head clean off. I lost my own head too. Well, that's definitely rope. That's. <laughs> That's definitely rope. I feel like people are not respecting the uh, name <laughs> of the challenge, which was not rope. Next up is the headbanging chirpo by Terra King. I know Johannes loves chirpos, and I know Scrapman has a metal band called Catarinth. Fun fact, I just stumbled upon uh, that uh, on Spotify today, your EP. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. That's cool. I listened to it today. It was really good. I didn't know you could shred like that. Oh, thank you. If you don't know, go uh, search it on uh, Spotify right now. I tried making the chorus of deviate from Catarinth because I liked it the most and I thought it would be relatively easy but I wasn't able to find any notes for it and I wasn't <laughs> able to reproduce it without them with seven years of keyboarding experience. How is this? Is this tied in? 
Oh, this is so cool. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> yeah, that is nice. Oh, it even has your uh, yeah. your uh, artist artist name. What is it yeah, called? that's awesome. Cataract. Guitar strings for the with the power couplers, and then that the mohawk. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there, there we go. What happens when you headbang too hard? That's really cool. That is actually really cool. <laughs> it's also fun because I just randomly stumble upon it today and then someone mention it, mentions it here. Oh, that's the wrong creation. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Oh, oh yeah, it's very, <laughs> very sensitive head banging. I, I think that might have been what he meant by it. Don't oh, be careful. How did this <laughs> happen? <laughs> I think if, maybe the spaghetti god is kind of like triple middle Satan. Uh, Next up, oh, I've kind of been looking forward to this one actually uh, by Tuckboat. He has one win already and it's the house from up. There it goes. Going up. Yeah, those balloons look really good. Especially like the bigger ones with the new paint. The new yeah. paint jobs. That's a really well built house. Oh, wait a minute. Huh? He made he even made the old guy from oh, up. Yeah. He's standing on the uh, yeah, standing on the porch. Out. Looks as grumpy as the guy in the movie. Scrapman's Carousel of Death by Lou56. Okay, it's automatic. Right. Yes, yeah, so ten I seconds. Wasn't... Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, it's got my logo on top. I just noticed. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna go first person for a minute. I wonder if it's gonna do like the tilting. Oh, the smoke. <laughs> we got smoke, smoke effects. There oh, it yeah, is. Something. There's the tilting. <laughs> nice. Oh, and the gear is actually like the is rotating, you know, independent of the letters. That's pretty cool. I feel like someone always makes a really good job of making your logos whenever we do these build challenges together. Yeah. It's a, it's a very oh, weird way. Okay. Hey, look at, look at <laughs> us oh, go. And we fly, we're, we're actually alive still. Okay, wow. Yeah. That's kind Wait, of... This, oh, and whoa. we're not any, We're definitely not alive anymore. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I thought we were going to live on that one. All right. Let's see the Aston Martin DB5 convertible by Meow. Disclaimer, power couplings are exceptionally buggy. Oh wait, that's one way to tell us. <laughs> we have installed front-facing machine guns, flamethrowers, as a bomb. Finally, you may be wondering why it's a convertible this time. We have disguised as a lightweight Kevlar glider in the roof. Oh wow, this looks great oh, though. Oh, yeah, it looks really great. Wow. Oh, number two is to drop like a bomb. What was the glider? Number two, oh, space was the glider, I think, was it? Space is the glider, I think, yeah. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness, is it gonna work? Oh! Oh, it wasn't the softest landing. And then three to detach the glider. Wow, that was actually pretty impressive. This is a pretty well done vehicle. I mean, it it, it might be a little... Oh no, I think... I think I landed without losing a single block there. This is a car worthy of a, an international man of mystery. Aye, another smooth All landing. Right. See if I can pull this off. Oh boy, I just Try using drive up there. Boosters. Is that right, not the flamethrower? Oh, no. Alright, on my way down. Oh, yeah, I see you. Come on, soft landing. Oh, I lost <laughs> my front end. <laughs> <laughs> Looks a bit rough. We have the Piper PA28 Ch Cherokee. This is a uh, Vag XT. He's another defending champion. Wow, this is an entire Wikipedia article, <laughs> if you like. It, it literally it says Wikipedia at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Here goes nothing. I spawned over at the aircraft carrier. Oh, this takes off great. Yeah. Oh, I, I, like, I see the, the wings on the signs on the letters. It's actually pretty cool. We got y'all. Those left control, dude. I wholeheartedly support the message it's carrying. Just <laughs> chirpo. Just chirpo, yep. And uh, once again, this is definitely rope. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is... Whoa. <laughs> Just uh, got a scrap man flying past. I have a message for you. Duck stunt paraglider. Ooh, another paraglider. By Out of Ducks. I like how there's no decreased throttle. Engine on. Oh, yeah, there we go. Increased throttle. Uh oh Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, this thing's pretty good. Parachutes are, or well, paragliders are a thing now. I like these power, these uh, paraglider builds. Mm -hmm. Very soothing to glide. I bet I can. I bet I can actually land this thing without oh, getting I, ahead I, of I myself. I am not going to land. <laughs> I just flew right into the side of the carrier. I thought I could pull up in time. Oh, I did it. Nice. All right. Next up is Sami, uh, another build challenge winner here. The sacred Seraphim. Seraphim. 
video game character. Oh, that was a really well built like oh wow yeah creation like just it it's surprising the amount of like detail like realistic looking shape and everything oh yeah and she hovers oh and runs look at this running what oh run away <laughs> <laughs> all right you're gonna get it now oh no yeah, even i just noticed like the uh the pigtails look great oh yeah actually oh the wait is that and tattoos so like yeah, <laughs> I, d I have no idea what game this is from, but I'm assuming you nailed it. Wow, this is crazy. And oh, wait, the skirt. Do do Look at the skirt. There's a lot of flappy parts here. Yeah, the gun is actually really the... cool looking too. Oh, the seat is in the gun. Oh, no. Wait. <laughs> How do I? Left alt. Yep, there we go. <laughs> no, I lost my gun. <laughs> no. Let's uh, check out the fantail. I think this is our first putt racer of the day by Le Doctor 7. Okay, nice. I like this. Just WASD. I, I know <laughs> how to do that. Oh man, this thing this thing goes good. Oh no. I crashed. Oh, oh, oh I did too. Uh, he used the, the power coupler animation going to the, going oh, to the yeah. engines. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm losing altitude. Ah. <laughs> it's really good. I oh. like the. Uh, whoa, wait. Uh, what? <laughs> I Where spawned, did you come from? I, I just spawned at the spawn point right when you drove by. Man, it the sails very, are really yeah. good on this. Yeah, I was just about to say, I think the sails are a really nice touch. Next up is JJJ Lucky Speedboat Paraglider. Man, you guys really love your paragliders. All right, come on. Oh, nice. Oh, yes. there we go. go oh, oh, come on. Come on. Get up. Get up. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> What's going on over there? Oh, that's a chirpo driving the boat. Watch out. Well, I've been watching Scrapman for like five years. Surely I've seen some gliders. <laughs> yeah, I have tried this with like, I think trailer hinges or something many years ago. This is the Freck Tricoleur Formation. A cadet built by Sam X 120 Is this like the Italy's uh, Blue Angels or something? I gotta see oh, I this person's power coupling layout because... Uh... We tried this too, the formation fly, and it was hard to get uh, to get around the bending of the power couplers to keep yeah. a nice stable formation. This one I can see a little bit of bending, but seems to be pretty under control. It actually seems pretty natural. Oh, interesting. They had to create a T intersection of glass blocks or see-through blocks to uh, get the power couplings to meet up. See, that's the I guess that's the next thing you need to add now is um, an invisible paint color. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Just make everything invisible. Yep. <laughs> uh, next up is uh, Huxie's Puppeteer. It's Pinocchio. Oh, that's kind of clever. That's a nice, well-made hand. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. That looks really good. It's complicated. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. It's not a simple, not a simple build there. Yeah, great aesthetics on this. Turbo airplane by Doxel. And the turbos uh, have to have a turret on top of the plane to defend against. Turbos are a bit violent here, I feel like. They are peaceful, peaceful folk. Oh my goodness, oh, this, thing really... has, this thing has rocket engines. Oh my goodness, that has so much. Oh, okay. <laughs> it turns into a rocket, apparently. Very, very subtle use of the power coupling on this one. Wait, what is that supposed to be? Is it antennas? I think it's just like little antennas, yeah. By Crazy Bird. It's the cinematic orbital cannon. Enter first person, left click, arrow keys, white light, E. So, white light. enter first person. All right, I'm slowly navigating to the debris. Looks like the white light is on. All right, and fire. Oh my gosh, we have a whole cinematic firing sequence. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, another very subtle use of the power couplers. We have Indiana Jones by Edo Proido Games. Hey, Johannes and Scrap Man. I am Shriek. Yeah, the dude that have lost 29 <laughs> times. Oh my god. And I'm here to win. That's the spirit. Well, today might be your day. All right, looks like we Wait, got a whip. <laughs> oh, okay. We can walk around. Space. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. <laughs> it's so goofy. <laughs> it is very goofy. The face is great. <laughs> I like how he just... <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> just directly on the head. 
That was a clean hit. Oh, yeah, I can hop on one leg. <laughs> okay, so Boba's uh, pot racer. This one is actually... I included this because I hold this one very dearly. I had this pot racer, this exact pot racer as a Lego set when I was oh. a child. It is such a cool looking pot racer. And this, I don't know if you remember in the movie, the sound it makes. It's so satisfying. It has that rumbling. Mm -hmm. Just, oh, so good. I like how he's still using <laughs> hinges and uh, the actual connecting part, except for the, he actually made a true pot racer. Yeah, there's some fancy engines. Yeah, very, very aesthetic. I'm definitely uh, this. This one wins my heart. Sadly, that doesn't mean much in this competition. <laughs> but you have you have the Johannes Heart Award here. Okay, let's race to the island. Three, two, one, go. Uh oh, I don't know why I'm turning that way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that happened. <laughs> Oh no, no, now it's happening to me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, it's not easy. Uh oh. <laughs> oh <laughs> hey, no. Wait, that's, that's not allowed, man. I feel like stuff like this happened in the movie. <laughs> I really need to do a comeback now. It's probably not gonna happen. Yep, it's feeling pretty good here. I've learned yeah, how to I... sway back and forth enough to make it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a scrap oh, man victory, I, I think. Killed myself on the bridge. Uh, all right. The ancient Mayan throne by <laughs> Sir, F <laughs> Sir Phoenix the Dawn. All right, let's see. Oh. Oh, I mean, it, that's it goes. Pretty... Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that's it a... to actually go. I mean, oh. that's a pretty cool, like, hovering throne. Mm hmm I feel like I'm the king of the jungle. Oh! <laughs> well, that's, that's the to. throne part. Oh, no, I'm ascending. I've won. <laughs> I've been chosen. Is that all of them? That's all of the builds. Okay, so how many am I choosing? How, what's what's the choice categories here? You're just choosing uh, veteran and cadet because Lucrum is kind of winner by default. Well, my number one pick is pretty easy, and that is the Lord of the Skies by GC Ellis, which was this one right here. Yeah, I remember that. That was a pretty clear favorite of mine too. Yeah, I think this was probably the most creative and uh, interesting use of the power couplers. As not yeah. rope, uh, specifically. <laughs> As not rope. <laughs> uh, so is it's this, actually... which category is this in? Cadet, I'm pretty sure. Does that mean first yes, time, first time yeah, winning? Yeah, first time. Wow. So that's the winner. That's a very strong cadet submission. Yeah. Yeah, I think that He's... was uh, my number one out of all of them. Yeah. He has been trying for a long time, this dude as well. So I'm, I'm happy he's he's taking the W with this one. It's very All much right. deserved. And All I right. think I know my number two pick, which is the uh, Sacred Seraphim by Sumi or Sumi. I 100% agree with your picks here. Uh, so I, I, uh, actually, I so I was more distracted by the the gun and the. I don't know if like those are wing things, but I just noticed that the wrists are also power couplers. I 100% agree with your picks here. I think these two were definitely the highlights. All right, well, congratulations to the winners. Those are some very impressive creations. Yeah, these power Sumi, couplers have added a whole new dynamic to the game. They for sure have. Uh, and I think this is Sumi's, I think he's back to back winner now. He won the last oh, wow. one too. Yeah, he's, he's been doing well. Congratulations to Lucrum, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> congratulations to you two, and congratulations to Sami, and congratulations to GC Ellis, who are the winners of the Nut Rope Challenge. I have not thought of a new theme. Do you have any ideas? Otherwise, maybe Chat has an idea. Tiny 2024 would just be extremely small builds or what? Have you done? Have you not done a, <sighs> a tiny build theme before? I have not. Is that something I should do? Yeah, I mean, the, I've always found it really impressive when people can add a lot of detail in a really, really small build. And I've seen people accomplish that really, really well, but it's not easy. Yeah, tiny 2024. That's the new theme. Scrapman is standing victoriously <laughs> on top of my head as we are saying goodbye. And uh, thank you so much for joining us once again. Scrap, man. Thanks for having me. Can't wait for another one sometime in the future. Bye, everyone.